hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys they are out to get this guy vice president yemi oshibanjo there's absolutely no question about that and we have been seeing the writings on the wall with all this drip 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 effect news that we read constantly in the papers in preparation to setting this guy aside and removing him from position so with that guys i bring you this junaid mohammed accuses Oshimbajo of uh, being tribalistic reveals what vice president did during Buhari's sick leave. So that's the headline. Junaid Mohammed accuses Oshimbajo of uh, being tribalistic reveals what vice president did during Buhari's sick leave. So now let's now see what little missives the Malamis are firing in the direction of the vice president this time around. Second Republic lawmaker Dr. Junaid Mohammed has backed President Mohammed Buhari's decision to reassign the powers he willingly granted Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo. According to him, Professor Oshimbajo, like most Nigerians, is tribalistic and employed members of his church and tribesmen during the period President Buhari was away in London on sick leave. In an interview granted recently, Mohammed said Oshibajo made some mistakes in the discharge of his functions as the acting president, adding that on the whole Oshibajo was tribalistic and focused more on his people. You don't run a country by assuming you are entitled to certain powers, certain privileges. You are not. We have a written constitution which provides uh, enormous powers to only one man, the president. The president has the right to delegate some of these powers to anybody, including the vice president. But in terms of a written authority to exercise certain functions and powers, the vice president, in my reading of the constitution, has basically only two powers. One, the vice president is the chairman of the National Economic Council and that is an occasional meeting, not more than once a quarter, to discuss general economic policies because we are running a federation. Apart from that, the vice president also is the chairman of the National Boundaries Commission. Again, that harkens back to the issue of running a federation. If you are running a federation, there must be somebody that advises the president or the vice president on issues of legal borders, even for the purpose of taxation. Beyond this, every single responsibility which is being exercised by the vice president was at the instance or was the responsibility delegated to him by the president. The president had challenges and even before he became the president, he was not in the best of health, but people did not pay much attention. And so when he became seriously sick and the federal government mismanaged, not the sickness but the flow of information, they were not at the same level with the rest of the country. They were not telling us the truth until the man had to stay for 37 days and later again for over a hundred days in between hospitals and the official residence of a high commissioner in London. Whether he wanted to hand over some or all of the responsibilities, there was just no way we could have a country without a president or somebody exercising the power of the president. But that doesn't mean that these powers are or belong to the vice president as a bad right. No, I believe he, Oshibanjo, made some mistakes in the discharge of this function, but I also believe that on the whole, his body language and his verbal expressions did not lead us into a crisis. He didn't abuse those powers. I find that most unfortunate because if a man says go and do this on his behalf, he has the right to withdraw and say I have reassigned it to myself or to somebody else as the law provides. I find the whole attitude from these people 
rather disgraceful. So tribalism is now what the northerners are accusing uh, this Oshimbajo character of. So now this is now the latest uh, mud that they are slinging at him. So it's coming at him from all quarters now and by the time they are done with him he will have been so diminished to a minuscule sort of a vice president as to be completely impotent in his position because now his position is now almost now de facto ceremonial now they, they have just stripped him of so much and now they are saying to all intents and purposes that they are going to prune him back and bring him back to only what is constitutionally required of him and even that that is constitutionally required of him will still be supervised by Abakwari and Malam Buhari. So now the life and times, or should I say the times and woes of uh, Yemi Oshibanjo is up for discussion again. They are just diminishing this guy right, left and center. And it's just like a sitting dog, a lame dog. is just there looking on it like an ornament. It's just like a decoration now really in that Asso Rock space. Conversations in the comment section, the fate that befalls Yemi Oshibanjo is what we are discussing. But before you come have this chart, click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray bell button notifies you every time uh yeah yeah drop a new video and then come tell me if you feel yemi oshibanjo should resign with the little dignity that he still has left or should they just sit down there and have it all stripped off him come tell me all about this in the comment section so i'll leave you here join me in the comment section but here i say peace